football fans tribe over here with the interview Nigeria football fans after matches and we're giving Nigeria football fan content back to back so if you're new please click that subscribe button also like this video and thank you so much for watching all right um one day loss at the death of the match but um united fans somehow somehow they were just praying that the game should just end at least made and carry with him and carry come go and they move on but it didn't turn out like that brighton got a deserved goal in my opinion in the end but they were thoughts on the game well, I don't know. There's a lot of things that to think about. I think number one, basically, I think, uh, well, this is the first time I think in history that I say that Brighton has won a double against Man United. So basically, like, uh, you can see, the, well, the basically, Brighton fans at least celebrating all, all over. But I think Man U, I feel like we definitely need a stronger, stronger bench. Our bench is just literally, it's just literally like we don't like, we have, we barely have any options in the game. And I think Ten Hag is also afraid to actually use anybody in the bench. So it's any, you know, like we're there, we're playing, Masha is playing almost 19 minutes, basically. We don't have anyone. Rashford's our only hope, basically, when it comes to attacking and everything. We are barely like, Form of, nobody's actually trying to do any form of attack, you know. Bruno try, he's trying to do the best to tweet, you know, he's, uh, but he complains too much, he just whines, everybody just whining. You know, Casemiro should have been dropped up. Okay, well, it was a risk, but he stayed up to the end, basically. But I feel like it up to, the way the game went, I just feel like, now, nah, like, we need to, we definitely need more signings. We definitely need more signings. In terms of more signings now for next season, how many players do you think United need, like, minimum? Minimum, I think I'll say for five, 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 five. But I think I think majorly what we definitely need, we definitely need a central midfield mid, 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 Basically, we need Ansaka. Basically, we also need someone to replace, like Rashford or the right wing. Greenwood needs to come back. He's gone, Otilo. No, 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 he's gone. <laughs> he is gone. No, the particular that, that thing, what, what's come? Say he say not us. He will play for my year. He will play. He will play. <laughs> he will play because like so the pass that the, that Rashford gave to um, Anthony. Yeah, that Anthony, yeah, all, yeah. all he had to do if he had his right leg just to shoot and that would have been a goal. He had to cut oh, yeah. down to his left and everything, and that was damaged. Someone like Greenwood who is there basically, you know, that's a literally that's a goal. You know, I think we need to start. Like, I think we need to stop. I don't know what's happening. With, at the green, way, the case is over. Let's just move on from that. From that, from that part. Let's get our. Let's get people that, 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 that can hold the team. That we, I mean, we need, we need better, better attacks. You they talk this one because of the player where, where um, Green would be, right? You're saying this because of the player. Of course. If it's Maguire that has the same case, would you be saying the same? No, Maguire. <laughs> No, first of all, when I saw him on the bench, I was shocked. I was shocked. I was like, why is he on the bench? You know, like because literally, our our, our, our like our Europa League basically was we, we, we left because of him basically. Yeah. And I think we I, I, we didn't find a way to sell him. And we find that that's problem. We, we keep buying like you know overpriced players for like and, you know, and we don't get the best quality. Yeah. And we have players who are good, and we are selling them off basically for 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 nothing. Yeah. We have we have someone like Green. Greenwood is literally a future star. I don't I don't talk about Greenwood right now, but Greenwood is a future star. Who I feel like we need, he, he, he he brings a different kind of attack to to my United's um, attack. Yeah. He can play forward. He can play center. He can play Left, play right. You understand? He has be, be, left. You can find another player that can do that. No, I feel, can, I feel Greenwood now just the baggage will be too much, especially since in Man United with the haters they have already. Can't add that factor to him. Mean, no, no, no. Even gigs and other people who have slept with other people's wives and even the rejection room and things have happened. Come on, let's let let let. let, let I mean, they, they, they still play and they still legends. <laughs> they still legends. So we're, 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 come on, like yeah, you know, let's. Fair enough, fair enough. But um, <laughs> a player that might did do have rather and um, someone you mentioned there while you were talking, Anthony. Mm -hmm. Should should he be careful with the way he's, he behaves? Because one thing you don't want to do is give these Premier League referees a bad reputation. Because when he, when he gets to that stage, the, the minor things where he could do, then go overtake him, give you red card for waiting if he don't give you yellow for. I'm talking about he's going back, kicking that player, the whole fight, fight, fight. It's not new. We've been seeing that. You think Anthony thinks he's a skillful player? You understand? He has a certain level amount of skill, but he doesn't have the talent for like he does it for dribbling. Yeah. So he always acts like there's so many videos I watch after like he just does a, 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 a touch and everything, and, and then it doesn't go for him. And he thinks, oh, I should have gotten it because he thinks I don't know what he thinks is what, what he don't know what he thinks he is basically. But when it comes to dribbling skills, I think he focus more about like either passing or crossing, being playing player because he barely he barely dribbles, he barely barely gets past players. And if he does get past players, he has a way of just stopping at the at the end of the corner flag, trying to wait for a pass back. He, he's not good at attacking basically. I mean, but he, and all the, all the defenders cannot read this game. They can read this game knowing the fact that basically no matter how the guy, how the guy go play. He can go still cut back to that left, try to shoot. He's never so every player is going to mark and he will still cut back and again. No matter what, they have the clear chance to give to him. But this guy needs to like work on, on a, a different side of his game because very soon, like they, they, they always give a player one season. Yeah. The second season, they read your game and they already know what. So I, I imagine how it could be worse next season for him. Basically, I feel like this, that, that's why I think we need to get someone else yeah. that we need to back up. He's a good player, you know. Like but I feel like he can't be can, our main our main person that we're depending on. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah.
fair enough. And then uh, many people will speak of Luke Shaw today and how in good deeds finally end up for bad. Hero to villain in one second, consider the penalty and the right in uh, McAllister didn't make any mistake. Funny enough, I was going online, I was checking basically, you know, if the game ended new new, Luke Shaw would be man, man of the match, you understand? Yeah. And at the same time, I won't blame him. You're like, whether you like it or not, if you're, if you're jumping, if you're jump, if you're jump, if you're if you're jumping, if you're jumping, if you're jumping, you can't really like it. Like okay, I understand. Obviously, he jumping and the ball is going this way. So normally, when you're jumping, you're definitely going to like you need to support yourself because you can't jump and you're going to fall dead. So you need to like. So I don't blame him. Like I can't like. And this kind of things happen in football. You know what I mean? So, but generally, this was a tough match in general. You know, like even the zero zero, like towards the end, we tell like you know what, what's up, what's up the draw because like. We, but right now, our top four now is like. But even though I I have a very very very, very strong feeling that no, we're, we're definitely gonna get top four no matter. Out of hundred percent, how many percent do you have a chance? Make it out of 101 percent. Hmm. You the guy. We have five matches to go basically, and we have a game, game, game in hand. The only person that is like can battle of it all right now is Liverpool. Liverpool basically is what 59, uh, how many points ahead of it? So basically, and we have a game in hand. So I think the advantage and Liverpool has, has to have some like you know tough teams to play and everything. I feel like, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's a problem basically. Interesting. All right, oh, well, bro. thanks for watching. Right here, another one of our video ways to post like and all our social media links. I beg, follow us on every platform because we get content for everybody.